What's up guys, here bringing you another video. So if this is your first time here, make sure you like my videos, share all my videos, comment all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Cause trust me guys, you never ever wanna miss out. All right guys, so I did wanna bring you this video today because you guys know a couple weeks ago I did tell you that I got a new printer. I did the unboxing for it, I put it together, I show you what it looks like. And it's been a few weeks now and I've learned a few things, done of bad things, and you know, it's a learning curve, it's a brand new toy that I'm learning to use, a whole different skill set that I have now. So, I did want to show you a little bit more of what I've been doing. So as you see, I do got my 3D printer right there. And I, right now it's currently printing something for me right now. And I've been printing little things I messed up a few times, or actually not a few, a bunch of times I messed up. And I've also done some good prints. One of the things you guys gotta know, it's not an easy plug and play. You, you buy the printer, you get the code, you put it in and you print. No, it's not that easy. It takes a lot of things to do in this. Uh, one of the things you got to do every time you do a print, make sure you calibrate it, make sure it's all even down and everything. Uh, put, make sure you put adhesive on the on the plate to make sure the print sticks to the plate itself. There's a lot, a lot of things, but I just want today. I just want to just give a little rundown of what I've been doing and what am I gonna do next. So, as like I said, I am printing something right now. At the moment, I am printing a, a S2000, the little card that I have. I'm printing that card just to have like a memorial thing for my brother. And let me show the other things that I've been printing out and I'll give you more information of what I've been doing. All right, so some of the things I've been doing, not really wow type things, but I did print these out for my nieces. Um, a little butterflies here. You know, these are one of my first prints that I did. Actually, the first print I did was a little boat. It's a test print that you print out for the first time. Just to test your thing, make sure everything's calibrated, everything's working well. Um, so, yeah, so I got these right here. I did these right here, two perfect prints. I had another type of filament, and filament is basically the ink for the 3D printer. And when I did these exact same ones, the filament that I used before was a bad one, it wasn't coming out good, it was coming out stringy. So, when it comes to 3D printing, it's not just like I said, plug and play. Uh, and then, like I said, you have to adjust it. After you adjust it, you gotta make sure you get the right filament. Because if you get some bad filament, the print's gonna come out bad. I had to return a couple ones because they sent me bad ones. Also, when it comes to the, the filament, you gotta make sure you put the right temperature for it. Because some of them, you have to put extra high temperature, which is not good to do. Also, um, the type of nozzles you put on your 3D printer, all that takes an effect. It's not just, like I said, a plug and play. You plug it in, select the file, send it to your printer, and let it print. It's not that easy. I wish it was, but it's not. It's a learning curve, and if you're willing to learn, you can do this yourself as well. This is something I'm trying to learn more about. I'm pretty getting the hang of the printer itself. Now I gotta learn how to 3D model myself. These prints, I got them online. There's tons of websites that provide you tons and tons of files you can print out and it has almost any file you like and you can print out. So like I said, I printed these two butterflies out. These two came out good in this filament. And then I did one that was a different filament which I tried to get a black one. And that black one filament that I that brand that I used was very very bad. Was it coming? I think it needed a higher temperature, but I didn't want to do all that. Like adjust it too too high because I read reviews on it after that I bought the filament that you had to put the temperature super high just to get a, a decent print, and it's it sucks. I wasn't gonna do all that. Then after I got more experience with it, I knew I was doing. I got a brand new filament, and I did this one right here. This is the Eiffel Tower. My my. Wife has been asking for me to print one out for her. And this is the Eiffel Tower. Look how cool this came out. Look how good it came out. In, in my opinion, it came out pretty cool. You know, this is something that you can put around the house. Uh, so what me and my wife are gonna start doing is having these every time we visit a different country, whatever monument they have there, we're gonna print something out for it. Like, I still gotta print out the Colosseum from Rome. Cause we've been there, we we went to Paris, so we did this, and now we're gonna print one from the Colosseum. If they have one available, I'm gonna go ahead and get that printed out, and do that next. 
I'll probably show you that. Now, I'm gonna show you a bad print. Remember I showed you that I'm printing another car? I'm printing an S2000. I did it before, but I did it with the bad filament. And I told you the one I bought was a different brand and it was a black one, because I wanted a black, a black one. Look, you from far, you're like, oh, it looks pretty cool, it looks nice, right? Nah, I never bring it up closer to you. I don't know if you can see, you see the wavy lines on there? Look how bad this part right here. Let me, let me bring it closer. Let me, let me actually black out myself out from here. Oh, you can't really, I can't focus in too much. But you can tell right there, even with the blurriness, you can still tell that it's all wavy and everything. And if you look on the bottom, there, I don't know if you can see it. Try to, I'm trying to focus in. All right. Uh, uh, down here you can see it's very wavy and right here This part right here. This is actually stringy. This is all loose It's not good So that's the reason why you got to be careful how you print uh, When you do a printing they always say look for the first five minutes Look at the first layer make sure everything's sticking everything's coming through and then in the beginning depending how long your print is either check it every 30 minutes or every hour just to make sure that you keep on Printing out nice, but if you're a veteran and you've been printing for a long time, you know exactly what to do and everything. Sometimes people just put the print, watch the first layer, and then after the first layer is done, they forget about it. And I've been getting to that point that I'm not a veteran like that, but I'm getting to the point that I don't have to look at it for so long. I still look at it for because of a habit, but once I saw the first layer has been printing, I walk away and probably check on it later on just to see the progress and how long, like this one. When I had the bad filament, this one came out bad. Oh my God, when I say bad, it came out bad. I'll get it up to like this point right here and then start messing up. It wouldn't print all this. The furthest I've gone is probably up to like right here, right before the, the main base right here. And let me show you some of the pieces that like I have here. One second. All right, so the pieces that I was talking about that I have, I'm gonna bring it out to you how far it got out. Cause I don't, I, <laughs> I'm just gonna let, lay it out for you. This is as, as far as I got. That's how I got it. Cause as soon as it got to that part right there, I don't know if you can say, as soon as it got to that part right there, it just stopped spooling and then it just kept doing a big old crisscross applesauce type stuff. It came, the, cause the filament I was using, it was known for getting stuck in the nozzle. Very known for being clogged and everything. So. When I read that, I was like, let me try a different filament. Or maybe it's the print itself. Because sometimes how you set up the settings for the print can damage the, the whole layout of it. Because if you do if you don't change the settings inside the software of the code for the file for the print, that can mess it up as well, too. There's a lot of things you have to learn, which I'm learning myself. So so as you saw, I this is how this one came out. Now I'm printing the one right now, and I'm gonna show you right now how it came out. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed the, the new one I did for S1000. And all right, so pretty much they look almost identical, but the thing on here, the, the squeaky line is still on here, but it's not as bad on the uh, as this one like it was with, with the different filament. So I'm guessing with this car, I have to use different settings on my software to print out more smoothly. Um, I gotta take away more, but pretty much you can see a big difference between the two of them when it comes to different type of filaments. Um, at least I could tell. The bottom don't look as, as squiggly as it was with this one. This was more squiggly than this one. I know you can't see it, but I could tell right here. But pretty much it's the same thing. But this one came out more um, better looking than, than this one. A lot better looking, because like here, it has squeaky lines on the front of the car. Here, there is none. So I already know, to get this more perfection, I have to mess with the settings and adjust the, like, the heating and the speed of the printing process for this. So that's what I gotta mess with. And again, that's another thing I'm gonna learn. And we're gonna take it from there. All right guys, so you saw everything I did. We did a good job. We looked at everything I've done so far me. Um, as far as going forward, 
what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to bring out more videos on 3D printing, everything I do. You'll come on the journey. I'll probably show you some tips and tricks on there that I learned on the way of doing 3D printing. So if you guys are getting to 3D printing, at least you guys don't make the same mistake I do and learn new things. I know way. As I learn it, I will teach you guys and hopefully this is something that you guys will want to see more on the channel. And I'm happy on this new journey. So I do appreciate you coming through and showing support to the channel. And remember, if you like this video and everything I had to show you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel. So they don't miss a thing like you don't miss a thing. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. And I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And guys, if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, we never ever want to miss out. And that's it for today. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.